I have played a lot of video games on a lot of different controllers, mice and keyboards over the last few years. But recently I decided to do something a little different. I decided I was gonna go tiny. So I grabbed a tiny little keyboard that I normally use when I watch Netflix from bed and a tiny little mouse that's just been hanging around the house for a long time. Never really used. It's got this annoying like cable -y thing on it. Ugh. But anyway, grabbing this tiny mouse, I mean, just look how small he is. He's freaking adorable. And then this tiny keyboard, I, I, I went and played a couple games. And here are my thoughts. Does, does having a decent keyboard or mouse make a difference? In short, yes. But I, I think I should just go over each game I tested and recorded in. And uh, just give, give my thoughts. First game I recorded in was Minecraft. I went on to Hypixel and I decided to play Bed Wars. Now I am not normally a very good Bed Wars player. Now I am a terrible Bed Wars player because... Well, this mouse is actually surprisingly okay. It didn't make a big difference to my gameplay once I got used to holding it, which didn't take too long. This guy. <sighs> Spacebar on this thing is nothing shy of terrible. Um, I, I missed jumps and I kept falling into the void constantly. I, I kept pushing the wrong button. It took me forever to sort of navigate because apart from the delay from this being wireless and terrible wireless, like I could feel the delay between me pressing W and my character going forward. It, it just was such a bad experience using this, this little keyboard. Um, the, the keyboard it is terrible between the, the mushy buttons and the tiny mispresses and just the lack of responsiveness it kind of ruined the gameplay i had fun but not because i was not, not for my normal reasons it just uh, oh. oh and you gave me two emeralds what are we doing with those emeralds then i decided to hop into a game called zionic zionotic zionetic Zionetic? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll put the writing on screen. It is a really fast-paced arena shooter, and this 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 is where I thought I would suffer the most. And this is the game where I felt the mouse being bad the most. But to be very honest, it actually was better than I thought. I played uh, okay. I mean, I would have been better with a proper keyboard and mouse, but I, I gotta say, I was surprised by how okay it was in the fast base arena shooter the keyboard only made a small difference i didn't jump around as much as i usually do because again the space box kind of sucks and it, it, there's a delay so jumping around didn't prove to be anywhere near as useful as it usually is for me but you know the mouse tracked pretty well i, I have to give it to this little mouse it it tracks surprisingly well and it didn't completely ruin my gameplay i had a lot of fun playing a little bit of zionetic 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 okay and then on to the third game we played i decided to jump into an rts game uh i, I picked red alert 3 because that's the rts game that one of the rts games that was installed on my pc and it was just sort of like any mini money mo on my steam list but anyway going to the gameplay i played just a single skirmish match which i finished in like five minutes because i i didn't put the bot above medium difficulty i'm a coward you can tell me that but i gotta say i don't use the keyboard much i used it once or twice like literally i pushed buttons once or twice in that entire five minute match and um other than that i used the mouse and again the little mouse didn't help me back at all at this point though my hands were starting to cramp I needed to take a break before we get into our next game. Oh boy. For the last game, I decided I really must be a masochist because I wanted to find the game in all my libraries that had the chonkiest, most horrific, like, control scheme. So I picked the original Mass Effect. Not the remastered, no, 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 the original Mass Effect 1. And man, I remember why this game was great for story and no one really praised the gameplay because those controls are chunky on, on a good day. But, but, but when I was using the tiny keyboard and mouse, oh, the mouse, a little too sensitive. And I picked it up more here than I did in the fast paced arena shooter. They are in their backs. Um, 
which really really surprised me because i i really didn't expect there to be that much of a difference in mass effect i expected to pick it up more on the fast paced arena shooter which is why i picked the fast paced arena shooter it it's where i would have i thought i'd have noticed the most but it turns out minecraft is where i noticed the most issues with everything but the mouse specifically oh, mass effect the mouse is way too sensitive for the original mass effect um then the keyboard again it was just frustrating to use i found out that you can toggle walk in mass effect by pressing z or z depending where you come from um but i did not know that was a feature i've been playing mass effect for years and i did not know that was a feature but i found it out from this little keyboard it's an upside it, it's fantastic really uh, I, I press z the only good news is this time i finally got a hold of using that space bar correctly and instead of falling into voids and just avoiding jumping all together or just avoiding the keyboard altogether like i did in red alert i i have to say it was very useful in skipping the dialogue that i've gone through about 300 times because i've so replayed the mass of it games countless times especially the first two i mean ugh. but other than that it it was still frustrating and i think it happens more with the chunkier game in in short in in this silly little video that took me freaking hours to make before i've even edited it and it's only going to be like five or six minutes um yes get, get, get a proper size keyboard and mouse you can game on cheap things the only thing where the only thing worse than this here little gaming mouse that i've ever used was this volcano wireless office mouse. this thing is horrible it tracks from about that high off the ground and it does not track accurately i must say this this mouse actually tracks better than a lot of mice i've used it's a little sensitive like it's too sensitive for me to use in the long run but it is so small and light and it attracts quite well so i might i might actually use it more when i travel you're so cute anyway i'm luke from happy tech art thanks for watching my video leave a comment down below like comment subscribe all of those goody things and share my videos with someone that do something for a small creator and just share their content oh i am so sorry i burped there